Good morning, beautiful souls. This is Isis. Today, our topic is transformation, part three. So we will be discussing the communication skills we can attain with our deceased loved ones. As I said, there are multiple methods. Some are a little bit risque in the aspect that they may call spirits which were not who you were intentionally seeking. However, they would have some knowledge which could be deceptive. So this is going to talk about how to call directly to your family and significant loved ones without that issue. I have a selenite and you may have selenite, you may not, it could be larger or smaller. Um, selenite is very good for mental clarity. So we like to put it to our third eye, to the crown chakra and these areas. Um, when preparing for request to have the communication with your family, it might take some time to channel into that energy and that network. So in order to do the channel, channeling, you would want to have your selenite and always have water. Water is in and of itself a very powerful property which is between this world and the next and if any of you have ever heard of Zamzam in Mecca Saudi Arabia um, that is one of the most powerful waters on the planet and you can usually find a small bottle in any kind of Indian kind of shops that sell spices um, you may go and you ask for Zam Zam Z A M Z A M water. If you cannot, normal water is fine. So, what we do is we just take our water and we want to change its frequency in order to reach that which we desire. So, um, if you know about Dr. Emoto, he had studied the crystallization of water and its frequencies for over 15 years, and I will put a link to Dr. Emoto below so that you can research him for yourself and understand the power of water and why it is important to always feel love emission before your water, prior to drinking it. Um, so with our water, we should use a glass container. I unfortunately only have this particular container which has some glass properties within the um, container itself and it is about the frequency hitting the frequency so we would hold our water near to our heart chakra and we want to hold our water from below the left hand is below because it is the hand to receive and the right hand is above it is the hand to give or you can put it here, depending on how you wish to hold your glass. It doesn't make much difference. Um, and you want to feel the emotion which you seek. So if you're looking to communicate with your mother, think about our mother and we would remember her and put her in our mind, put the memories of her in our mind, maybe even talk about her to the water. And do this for about one minute to five minutes depending on your feeling until you feel the strength of your emotion just coming out of your heart and into your glass. At this point you may also use your selenite. You don't want to put it in your water. Just have it nearby holding it. Um, then at the end you will make a request. I request to my guardians and higher self. Please take me to visit my mother and give her name and then say my mother, then her name, and then say the daughter of 
and then say the name of her mother, okay? And you want to use the names um, they were given at birth, not the married names. So at this point, you will talk down to your water and, and you will just kind of blow into it what you have spoken, like that. Now, you would drink it, completely drink the water. Um, you will change your emotions around you. You will go and lay down and do a meditation, laying down, falling asleep, and you should hit that frequency. If it didn't happen immediately, give it some time. Sometimes it takes five hours, up to three days, seven days would be the maximum. And you would want to repeat this process every day until you have reached what you desire. You can also ask questions like, I want to know how they're doing. Anything you are wanting to understand, you would speak that in the water and then you would drink it. I wish you all have a beautiful day.